दी थी तो एन डी टी मीन नॉन रिस्पेक्टिव सो बेसिकली दिस टेक्निक इज यूज टू फाइंड एनी काइंड ऑफ डिफेक्ट विच इज इंटरनली प्रसेंट इन साइड योर टेस्ट मेटीरियल सो वेन यू गेट अ टेस्ट पीस इन योर हैंड यू कैन एक्चुअली इंस्पेक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट पीस बाय टू डिफरेंट मेथड्स द फर्स्ट वन इज डिस्ट्रेक्टिव टेस्टिंग एंड द सेकेंड वन इज नॉन डिस्ट्रेक्टिव टेस्टिंग सो बाई डिस्ट्रेक्टिव टेस्टिंग एक्चुअली वी आर एक्चुअली हार्मिंग योर टेस्ट मेटीरियल वी आर हैव टू कट इट एंड इट मे इंक्लूड कटिंग ऑफ योर टेस्ट मेटीरियल Uh, and we have to view the cross section of that uh, particular test material okay so uh, so it means we are actually harming harming it harming in the sense like physically we are harming it we are actually changing its shape we are changing its internal external exterior behavior and all so we don't follow such methods here uh, we follow actually non destructive testing and in non destructive testing we will uh, So in non-destructive testing, there are about uh, four different subjects that we will study here, and the first subject is about <coughs> so these are the four different uh, subjects that we will deal with here. Uh, first one is ultrasonic testing, second uh, is fluid pattern testing. magnetic particle testing and the fourth one is radiograph test so in all these four methods different different methods we we are we don't do any harm to our test material uh, so we will come for the first subject that is ut so in ut actually we use the uh, ultrasonic sound wave so sound wave is actually we can classify the sound wave on the basis of its frequency as infrasonic sonic and ultrasonic sound wave so the sound wave which is having the uh, least frequency range Uh, it's called as infrasonic sound waves, and uh, a middle range frequency range uh, is called as a uh, uh, sonic sound waves, and last one is ultrasonic sound waves, which is having the highest frequency range. So among that, we will take this ultrasonic sound waves and propagate it into our test material. And once this propagated test uh, uh, ultrasonic sound waves, uh, uh, once it uh, transmits inside your test material. it either touches on the back wall of your test material back wall in the sense like the back the most last end of your test material and reflect back otherwise if there is any defect inside that uh, particular test material means otherwise uh, if there is a defect over the means it directly hits on this defect area and reflects back so whatever the energy reflecting uh, from inside your from the from your test material is being collected uh, by an instrument called as a probe or transducer so we will come to it later uh, so second one is a uh, liquid pattern testing so liquid pattern testing is actually a method in order to find any kind of uh, uh, defects uh, which is actually open to your surface open to your open to your surface in the sense like uh, you can find uh, these defects uh, means you can find any defects only up to a depth of 0 to 3 mm and that particular depth, uh, defect should be open to your metal surface so that is a uh, second topic liquid pattern testing uh, third one is magnetic particle testing in magnetic particle testing uh, we can uh, we can test a material uh, for any defects up to a depth of 0 to 6 mm which means you can also find defects up to a depth of uh, we, uh, we can find uh, defects up to a depth of uh, uh, not not a depth actually it's uh, called as a sub surface level actually you can divide a metal into a surface level and also a sub surface level surface level in the sense like a depth which is up to 0 to 3 mm and sub surface level which is actually uh, at a depth of 3 to 6 mm okay so by using this mpt magnetic particle testing you can't inspect all the test materials you can inspect only ferromagnetic materials uh, which means uh, ferromagnetic material for example iron cobalt and nickel which means uh, those metals actually show positive attraction uh, towards your uh, towards your magnet okay so only iron cobalt and nickel kind of test materials can be inspected for any close defects at up to a depth of 0 to 6 mm 
the next last one is radiographic testing. In radiographic testing, actually, what we do is we will propagate a different type of rays, like you know, like X rays or the alpha, rays, alpha, beta, gamma rays. Are the, so we will take some suitable rays and we actually uh, transmit these rays into your test specimen. And the resultant waves comes out of uh, which is coming out of your test specimen is actually copied in a film. And by looking in that film, uh, we actually uh, we should know. Uh, we should know actually what the depth of your, uh, what's the shape of your defect, what the size of your, the size of your defect. For example, like when we get a fracture in your hand, uh, you actually uh, go for doctor and uh, they will take an X-ray of your hand. So X-ray in the sense like they will pass this X-ray uh, into your hands and the result is actually copied in the filling. And by looking into the filling, you will come to know uh, the depth or uh, the shape or the size of your fracture or crack inside your hand. So such a similar method is used over here. So, uh, so this that's the RT radiographic test. So these are the four different topics that you will deal in MD. Okay, now coming for uh, we will separately discuss what is UT and uh, LPT, MPT, RT. In the next session.